Guided by only witness descriptions, Lois Gibson can draw a picture of the person who committed a crime. Working with a few details, Gibson can produce a close but far from perfect likeness. If it catches the person, <laughs> it's perfect. Gibson can relate to crime victims because when she was a 21-year-old dancer in Los Angeles, she herself was an attack victim. Her sketch of the attacker did not lead to an arrest, but many years later, the painful memory led her to work with the Houston Police Department. The reason I wanted to do this is I just wanted to get one guy like that guy that did that to me. Witnesses can find matches for specific features in this book, which helps Gibson compose a face, even if the witness is a four-year-old boy who saw a man kill his parents. I turned it around and the four-year-old got real mad and he said, why did you draw a picture of that man? That means it looked like him. And everybody in the room started crying. Gibson says the skill can also be used to bring back faces of people whose very existence was erased. She drew this sketch using descriptions provided by a Holocaust survivor in Houston. He described his seven-year-old sister that he saw brought to the town square, and he was like really tall for his 10-year-old age, and he stood with his adults, and they put the children in the town square, and he watched her get shot in the head and killed. Lois Gibson has done a number of such drawings for people who survived the Nazi atrocities, losing everything but their memories of loved ones who died. Through her teaching, Gibson encourages young artists to enter this field, not just to help cops catch bad guys, but to provide justice and comfort for crime victims. Greg Flakus, VOA News, Houston.